Hi, the question that I was asked is does modern.NET stores connection strings in memory using the secure string type or not? And the simple answer is no, it doesn't. Let's see why and let's see how it stores, how it's stored exactly. Um, first of all, in .NET we can get the connection string using the cat connection string method. Uh, get connection string, which is which is extension method for the I configuration interface, as you can see here. <clears throat> so, and if you look at the code, uh, uh, yeah, first first thing first, yeah, it, it, it returns the nullable string, so not a secure string. Let's see how it's implemented. Uh, yeah, and of course, uh, it's inside the I configuration interface, so it's extension to the I configuration interface. Um, and uh, I configuration interface stores all the all the values actually that it does that it takes from the configuration using the item string array. Yeah, so. <clears throat> The index. So as, as you can see, it you uh, it also returns nullable string. So if we go to the implementation exactly, yeah. So and if you look at the get connection string method, then we will be able to see that it just uh, wrapper on the configuration get section. Yeah, that it returns the name of the specific section and specific property of this section. And again, uh, we know that the iConfiguration stores all the properties as a st nullable strings, and it also returns the nullable string. Um, then even, even if we, for example, if we decided, okay, so configuration, uh, configuration is not uh, secure enough, yes, yeah, so we can, we can get it from, from the key vault, then again, so from the key vault, we use the key vault value, uh, Key vault secret yeah, uh, type that that the key vault return to us as we can get uh, as we want to get the secret and again this uh, key vault secret type also takes the value as a string yeah so it keeps the value as a just a string not a secure string. <clears throat> uh, and also let's see because because this is a kind of wide topic yeah so let's see how easy it is to extract the the the, the connection string from. Uh, from the memory dumps of the .NET application. So I created the simple uh, simple .NET application from the template, yeah, so it's just uh, a minimal API template. <clears throat> I didn't change anything here. The only change that I did is just in app settings, I have added the connection string, which is with the name default, and with those parameters. As you can see, I store the password in the clear text here. Yeah, so of course it is, uh, again, to store the, the connection string in the in, in the uh, config files, it's completely not recommended, and it's a bad practice. Yes, yeah, so better to use the key vaults or some vaults uh, that that specifically designed to keep the secrets. But but again, so let's do that way. Yeah, so and see how easy it is to extract in memory dumps. So first thing first, and I and I just compile my application. The build is succeeded. Yeah, so okay. So then I switch to my command line and I and I will start it. Yeah. So first of all, uh, PWD. Where where am I? I'm here in my application. Then I go to my project folder. Inside the project folder, there is a bin, debug, and .NET 7. And if I do ls here, so I will be able to see that I have the connection string uh, secure API dot uh, xe. And this is the executable file, uh, which uh, actually has the same name as my project over here inside the Visual Studio. So uh, what I can do now, I can start it. Yeah, so I do connection string secure API. So my application is started and it's ready and, and, I, and I'm ready to get the dump. Yeah, so I go to, let's see, GPS to get the processes. <clears throat> And this is my current processes. So I scroll up. I suppose it's somewhere on top uh, because it starts with a C. Yeah. So it's a connection string secure API. So this is my uh, this is my application up and running. And this is the actually process ID that I need to grab the memory dump. Then I use .NET dump tool, uh, which allow me to collect the uh, the memory dump for this particular process. Yeah. So and I just need to specify the process ID for that. <clears throat> I press enter. And as you can see, it's completed. Yeah, so it's stored. 
So I then go return back and, and stop the application, just control C and my application is stopped and I have the memory dump in my fo project folder, which is connection string secure, my folder. And this is the memory dump created just right now. Yeah, so uh, uh, again, in code, I never touch the, the connection strings at all. Yeah, so in code, I just, uh, do nothing with that yeah so and, and of course i assume that it will not appear in my dumps but let's see first of all uh code uh i run the visual studio code just to look uh at, at the row uh what's inside this dmp file of course it's just uh, uh, the binary file yeah but so let's see what we get from the binary file yeah so i go to this binary file just open it uh, i say open anyway yeah, so, and, and I use the text editor, yeah, so, because I want to search for text inside the binary file, just to see what's inside this memory dump. Maybe I will have it there. Let's see. Yeah, it takes time because if I'm not mistaken, it is about, uh, yeah, 150 megabytes. Yeah, so, okay. Okay, so uh, inside inside this particular file, I can search for any text. For example, if I search control F, if I search for the password, because I know that in any connection string, there is a password, yeah, for example. And I actually looking for, for this. Let's see what we have. Oh, interesting. So this is, this is actually my password, yeah, for, for my connection string. And as you can see in the memory dumps, we can see the, the full content of the JSON file because I suppose the .NET just stored it inside the memory. Yeah, so uh, this is it. Yeah, so this is my password inside my memory dump. Yeah, so uh, in just pure text. And, and as we can see, the password appears two times. Yeah, so um, let's, oh, it's a second one of 159. Interesting. Oh yeah, so this is just a, just a text. Yeah, so, but okay. So I was lucky to find it uh, just in, in, in the first hit. Yeah, so, okay. My password password is, is found. Okay, so I close the Visual Studio. And actually what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open, uh, open this uh, dump using the Visual Studio, yeah? So let's do Explorer, just right here. Ah, oh, okay, so I made a mistake, Explorer. Uh, and the Explorer starts. It's a file explorer, of course. Uh, yeah, so it's over here. And I just double click on the memory dump and I suppose my Visual Studio will open. So um, actually what I'm looking, I'm looking at this particular API and I, and I, when I select it, I click here, debug manage memory because I want to see the manage memory for this particular process. It's almost done, yeah, so, and what we are interested in, we're interested in actually strings, yeah, so because we want to find the string value. So, and I select the string and I say view instances. Again, we, we see here all the strings that we that we have in the heap, in the memory. So, and I also can search for a password, for example, password, yeah, password. I can try the password with a small letter, for example, if I like, yeah, so with a small letter, I can't find anything. I can try the password with, with the capital letter, and then I will be able to see the value of actually my connection string, which is, which contains my password over here. Yeah, so that's, that's mainly it what I wanted to show you today. So thank you very much and see you later. Bye.